Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video, we'll be taking a look at whether Luigi's Mansion is playable with Dolphin within Retroarch. Now, I did just try this, and the game froze, like 30 seconds into it, so... I did say that it was not playable, but then I decided to give it another go, and it didn't freeze, so... God knows. It's one of those things that's just really odd. But one thing I do notice when booting games into Dolphin is they seem to take quite a bit long longer than, um... Like PC SX2? I'm trying to think of other systems. I mean, every other thing from before that load a lot quicker anyway. But no, PC SX2 takes a while to get into it, but then I pressed B. Whoops. But not as long as Dolphin, seemingly. Alright, fingers crossed it doesn't crash. <laughs> yeah, it crashed as soon as it transitioned. Basically, where it had that slight hitch, it was just frozen. But I think I just got unlucky. Because this is now the third time where it hasn't crashed, so I think I did just get unlucky. So if it does crash there, I would suggest just restarting the game. Or closing RetroArch and then restarting the game. Well, you can't restart the game from in RetroArch because it crashes it. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And I've also updated the um, FPS counter to update every 30 frames. So in PS2 games, it should update twice a second. And in GameCube games, it should update once a second. Oh, look at us go! Mario. Yeah. Oh my god, that sounded like it was from, um, the Game Boy games. God, look at that, look at that nose! And w wiggle physics. <laughs> Ooh. Spooky. I forgot you can control the, uh, flashlight. Nope. Yeah, of course, through the double doors. Give. Holy crap, it's huge. That was a big ass key. Oh my god, it's cold. We got some freezing temps. My god, oh, there we go. Oh. oh god. Yeah, I forgot to have Goofy. This game is. I remember Egad from um, Superstar Saga. Yeah, well, you'd give him, a, you'd go to the cafe and make those weird brews that give you like permanent stat boosts or something. Oh, what the heck? 
I just noticed that, yep, Luigi's textures seem to be glitching out. <laughs> oh, you can see to the back of his mouth. Gross. Seems to be happening a fair bit. B turns flashlight off, examines a door. Search with the Game Boy Horror. Check your map, inventory, suck things up with the vacuum. Shoot out fire, water, or ice. Cool. The Pulse of 3000. Ah, oh, the Game Boy Horror. Oh, I forgot it's inverted. Mom. Got him. <laughs> hey, didn't give me a one two. God, the music's awesome. Oh god. Yeah. Ah, oh, I was too slow. I oh, repeatedly for best. Okay. I'm too slow. <laughs> I'm not even looking at him. Damn it. Yeah, I'm too slow. Crap. Only two. <laughs> Look at my little run. Easy. Hey, Toad. God. On the plus side, the texture seems to uh, have stopped glitching out. Leave it to be. Aww. Oh, he's the save point. Of course. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I thought Toad just left at me then. <laughs> Oh, I can't do anything with the toad. Oh wait, hang on. Oh no. It seemed like his uh, face textures were screwed up again. I guess not. Not this time. Oh nice. Look at that reflection! Wow, that's actually pretty cool. By the way, I think it's a good place to end the test. I'd have to say the game's playable with issues, mostly just because it, it stutters a fair bit and there are texture oddities, like you know his mouth disappearing and stuff. But aside from that, the game seems fine. Like playability-wise, it's a bit cumbersome to play with an Xbox controller, but that's just nature of the beast. But regardless, I'd have to say that Luigi's Mansion is playable with issues. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.